Hi everyone, my name is Thaddeus. I'm one of the floor faculty managers here at COSI, and I want to give you a look behind the gears at the Gadget Stage, the place where we do our flashiest, our fieriest, and our most explosive demonstrations on a daily basis. And what I want to show you right now is a closer look at one of the especially fiery demonstrations we do for our fall seasonal show. So come on with me and let's check it out. So fall is obviously the time of year when the weather starts to get colder. We might start to put on our jackets or lab safety coats in my case. You might go apple picking. You might admire the leaves as they start to fall or get annoyed as you have to rake up those leaves. And just hopefully you might come check out the pumpkin patch science show here at the gadget stage where we put a, well, a slightly spooky twist on some of our favorite science demonstrations and celebrate those fall holidays. Now, our demonstration I'm gonna show you right now involves my friend Jack right here. And as you can see, we've made a few special modifications to our jack-o'-lantern. In addition to his grin, we also attach this hose to his back. And at the end of the hose, we have this bicycle pump right here. And when I push down on that bicycle pump, it's going to push a whole bunch of air through our jack-o'-lantern. And the reason I wanna do that is because I've added a special extra ingredient in there. I have something called lycopodium. Now, lycopodium is a plant. Its name in Greek roughly translates to little wolf paw based on the way it generally looks. But what I have inside my jack-o'-lantern doesn't look like a wolf paw. In fact, it's just this fine dust, this powder. And I have this in here because as a fine powder, Lycopodium is highly flammable. If I just hold my torch up to it though, all I can do is singe it. It becomes really noticeably flammable once you aerate it. You increase its access to oxygen like so. And that's the purpose of the bicycle pump. It's going to blow a whole bunch of air around this lycopodium dust, which is going to then be introduced to that candle flame inside our jack-o'-lantern and create a whole lot of fire all at once. This phenomenon is known as dust explosions, and it can lead to extremely dangerous conditions in places like coal mines and grain silos, where there's access to a lot of this sort of flammable dust inside contained spaces. Fortunately, Jack here isn't that contained, and we don't have enough lycopodium to become truly dangerous, just enough to give us a good, fiery demonstration for our show. All right, you ready to go, Jack? Sounds good to me. And on the count of three, one, two, three. That was your look behind the gears at the gadget stage. My name is Thaddeus. I hope you all keep learning and stay safe. Thanks.